Hi guys, I am Sarah from 190. Welcome back to my channel. As you can see, here is a 4x4 sand block elevator, which is freaking amazing. I did see this design from IBX, IBX Cat. IB, I, I, Toby, Toby, IBN X Cat. Toy Cat. And he's got an awesome epic channel. Shout out to you, man. And seriously, like, this was done in PC, so as you can see, the timing's a little different in the PlayStation, but it turns out it was actually lag. So this may not lag out in your world. As you can see, there's four pistons. They're actually all moving at the same time. But because of lag in my world, it looks like they're all moving at different times. So I actually can ride that up and down. But as you've seen, you know, in the PC version, it's perfect. But nonetheless, it's still buildable, it's still useful, and I'm sure it's still worth it in the long run. If you guys would like to know how that's built, then stick around. And I have a couple of pictures from my subscribers and of their build, so I encourage that. And I like to see new things, so let's I'll show you guys some pictures on my Minecraft Buddha community screen. Here it is here, the Minecraft Buddha, that's my community. Uh, if you guys want to see some pictures, here's some epic pictures made by Wisdom Tomona. Okay, and we also have one, a city by Joshua Bowl. Yeah. My city from above, let's check that out. Oh my god, that's freaking amazing. That is amazing, look at that. Some epic shots. I could not fit any more in, guys. I really wanted to, but Share Factory has its limits. Community channel on the PlayStation, go check that out. The Please send me some of your pictures. Why aren't you? And guys, look at all my buildings. I've definitely got my work cut out for me this year. Oh my god, it's taken forever. It just never ends. But I picked this building to build this elevator in, so I'll show you guys how it's built step by step. If you follow me, we'll have an awesome epic elevator in no time. Maybe in 15, 14 minutes. It's a long time, but we can do this. I'll make it very simple, guys, to follow. So what you need is a block of choice. You need a half slab, which matches that block of choice. And you also need a pressure plate. And you need a regular piston and a sticky piston. You also need a repeater and redstone. This is almost it. You also need a cauldron with water. That's it, guys. And we can build this whole thing. So two blocks apart, I have four regular pistons facing up with two redstone pieces either side and a line of block of choice with redstone connecting those two together. Okay, so that's the simple part. That's the beginning. Let's build one block up on the side and do the same on the exact opposite side. There we go. So one more block up as well and make a bridge and break that one across. So you got two and uh, yeah, and then actually, you know what? Put those two back one further. Just Okay, I've done it the long way around. Sorry, guys. Bring it down. Okay, so we want two blocks straight after that redstone like this. Okay, so now we just have to connect that together with more redstone. There you go. Okay, so what we will get out now will be our watering cauldron. I'll show you what that does here. Okay, so we're going to put that on... We're going to put two regular blocks on the first two here. One there and one there and get out your cauldron guys and put two there with water in it okay so this will update the piston at a different time okay so we're going to also get out a comparator either side like this and put a regular block here <clears throat> excuse me and um yeah just keep building around like this so one there one there one there and up as you can see, I've done that on both sides. And turn both of these comparators on. That's it. They're both facing into that block. And just bring that redstone around town. Like that. Okay. And on both sides, you want to do this. Bring it right way around. And add a repeater. A, compar a, com a comparator, sorry. Right here. So on the middle one, facing this way. Repeater. Yeah, it's a repeater, guys. Okay, so put a block here in front of that repeater, one next to that block, and do the same on the other side. Turn that comparator into a repeater, by the way, guys. I ended up learning that the hard way later on, so yeah. Okay, and break that block underneath. Break that block underneath. And put one on top and break one under that one. And let's see. Okay, we're going to get out our half slabs and 
we're going to sort of place it there and place it on the top part of that block and break this block and put another half slab here. There we go. And another one here and here. So we're going to put two more and two more on both sides. So keep it symmetrical, guys. Unlike what I've just done with a repeater. And so yeah, so put two repeaters facing out and connect it with redstone. Do the same on the other side. Two repeaters facing out, connect it with redstone all the way. There we go. So it should look like this. And connect this corner up on both sides. Okay, we're getting closer to the middle. We're about middle way. We're about in the middle, guys. Okay, so put a block on top of both of those repeaters without ticking them off at any way. You don't want to touch them at all. Because they're all supposed to be on uh, one tick. So don't touch them. And so now that you've put those two blocks across, we just come back down here and bring up the shafts like this. So at the front of those two cauldrons, you want to bring up two columns up all the way to the top of your building. And do the same on the other side, all the way to the top. Okay. Okay, so here we go. Let's uh, add... Wow, those birds are loud. I've got some loud Australian hot birds in the summer. So I, oh my god, they won't shut up. It gets worse throughout the year. But anyway, I'm building up these shafts all the way up to the top. And on this side as well. All the way to the T.O.P. Okay, I'm just going to pretend that I've done that, so it's quicker for you guys. Okay, so now that we've done that, which we haven't, but we kind of did, uh, we want to come back down here and put two blocks on top of those redstone blocks and, and, and bring it over one, two, like this. This is the platform, and there's your shaft, and when you look down, you'll see the cauldrons looking back at you. But over here on the front, on the bottom, you want to break two of every second block like this. Every second line you want to break two blocks out from the bottoms and then replace it with two repeaters on top and do the exact same thing on the other side all the way to the top one there and one there break this break this one there one there do the exact same thing all the way now that you've done that you want to sort of connect these two together with power so break this get rid of that half slab replace it for a block and reconnect it with the redstone do the same on the other side Sorry guys, I realise that probably isn't the best block right there. So just put a block instead of that half slab at the front. And put the redstone on top there. And it will connect. There we go, that's better. Okay, so put half slabs on the top part of the block on every repeater. After every repeater, sorry. Like this. And then put some redstone connecting them into each other like this. On both sides. All the way to, you guessed it, the top. Here's the visual. Okay, so it's very simple. And the redstone, and you're done. Okay, so very, very good. Now all we need now is the actual floor for the elevator. And connect... Oh, actually, we should probably connect those two together as well, guys, with just one line. So what you do is go to the back part here, put a block and a half slab under the block, so it's in between these two where the front two repeaters start. And then put a bit of redstone on the top of that as well. So let's do the exact same thing all the way to the top. This is the last part. So yeah, a block there as well on that half slab. A half slab under that block. Bit of redstone. And do it again. So you look up to the next half slab. Put the block right level with it. Another half slab. And redstone. And you can do that all the way to the top on this side. And do the same thing on the other side. That should be the very last thing now of the redstone work. So we're done pretty much guys, so don't give up, we're nearly there. So do the same thing here as well. I know it looks complicated, but it's 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 worth it in the end, it's pretty cool. So you put a block there on the half slab, and a half slab underneath the block, and redstone, so do that all the way to the top. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I know, it's, it's very tedious guys. Very, very slow, very tedious, it's a very long video, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. What more do you want? 
Okay, now we got the sticky pistons. Thanks for staying, guys, for this long. That's amazing. You guys are amazing. I'm amazing. Okay, so get your sticky pistons and have them facing down on this block here, just above the cauldrons, one block apart. So you can do that on the half side, one there, one there, and another two here. And do the, do the same but facing up, like this, and come back around the back and do the same thing. Like this. Uh, it's a bit tricky, so make sure it's not going to face that way. Facing up on the cauldron, so you might want to get higher. Oh my gosh, it's pretty difficult, guys, but you can do this. I can do this, you can do it. Uh, Alright, there we go, we did it! Okay, let's do the same thing on the other side. There we go, perfect. Alright, that is amazing. What a build. Crazy crap. Alright, so, let's get some sand out. Or gravel, any type of sand that doesn't defy gravity in this game. There's only two, I think. Or anvils, I don't know. I don't know. And put some sand or gravel. But for the purpose of this video, and this training purpose video, I'm actually just going to use sand. So Now at the back here, you want to put your pressure plate here and here. It doesn't matter which one you step on because it's going to react that redstone underneath either way perfectly, even. So put the sand in. Okay, so now when I step on it, it will start to react. Now, on your world, guys, it will probably work perfectly. On my world, it's, it's just lagging out a little bit, and it's pretty much because my world is very laggy anyway, so this block always seems to be a little bit higher than the other block. But that also could be because I used a comparator at the bottom is, instead of a repeater, which you guys, I told you to replace, which I hadn't yet done, so that could be why that's happening. But nonetheless, I ended up getting it working perfectly, and you guys can too, and it's amazing. If you have any questions about this, it is complicated, just leave a comment in the description. I'll try to work you guys th through it. Okay, we can get through it. Uh, I don't know, I like it like this. It kind of looks like a chair I'm sitting on, going all the way up. And again, this will only go about 10 blocks, I mean 10 levels high. Okay, but there is a workaround, a very simple workaround. So you can make it infinite, so it goes all the way to the sky. So if you want to know how to do that, stick around once again. And let's do that right now. So we're going to make it extend. So let's have a look. It goes up to a certain height. Uh, it doesn't glitch out in the sense that I'm not going to fall through it, which is pretty cool. But it will only get to here and it will run out of power and I'll drop back down. It will come back down evenly. And it's very... It, it, you can reuse it over and over again. So, you know what, we're going to try some horses and villages, and let's see if they can ride this glitchy thing right now. Let's see if they can do this. And keep in mind, this was a PC build. It could have something to do with the pistons. I'm not sure what's going on anymore, guys. But anyway, so I'm just trying to get this thing to work. Um, you know, let's see if it works. Oh, no, it doesn't. It doesn't work, it kills, guys, it kills. It's dangerous, this is a dangerous machine. I really shouldn't be showing you kids how to make this. This is way too dangerous for you guys to be playing with. That Don't do that, that's dangerous. Anyway, so no, it doesn't work with villages or any, any other mobs. Okay, Bob. But what we're gonna do now is, like I said, extend this elevator so it can go higher. So what you wanna do is find the weak point where it stops. And that's where the charge ends. So let's say it's about here, for example. And all we need to do is get out a half slab and get out some more redstone and a repeater. So bring two blocks out, one block high, half slab across, break that block, break that half slab, put a half slab there. And you want to put a repeater facing west, this way left, out, and one in, back in. And then just simply connect those two bits up with redstone. Whoops, don't touch the don't touch those. And there you're done. Do the exact same thing on the other side because it has to be very even for this to work. So bring two half slabs out again and another one out here and connect it with these repeaters. One facing this way, one facing this way in and two bits of redstone and you've just made a connection so that this can now go twice as high. You just keep repeating this and now this will surely allow us to ride all the way to the top without falling down. And that's the goal, guys. That's pretty much it. That's how it works. Now I'm on this floor. The elevator will go back down. And keep in mind, this world's 
pretty huge. There is a lot of lag, so it's not going to look as good here as it will on your world. Let me go, let me know, guys, how it goes on your world. Uh, I'd like to see how that all works out. And I literally could not show anymore. But in my next video, I will make room and you guys just show me some awesome builds like this, something epic. And I will definitely show Castle on my next episode. Thanks for sticking around so long, guys. It's time for you guys. Give yourselves a pat on the back, press the like button, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys the next time I find something interesting to show you. I'm Sarah from 190. Peace out.